So, mm -hmm. so talk a little bit about your your sort of personal motivations to tell these stories and and uh, you know the process of I guess finding the heart uh, that heart that's 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 inside all these stories and concepts. Um, for me, basically, uh, I think. Um, what I wanted to do is have a, a book for kids so that they experience like a fun experience with science as early as possible because um, as soon as they go to school it's kind of a bit of a crapshoot depending on what teacher you get, what school you go to. Science can be taught really, really well, but it's not taught really well across the board. And what I really wanted to do is have this really visually appealing book um, which kids would love. I, I remember reading books, like science books as a kid, and then like my mind being blown at some of the stuff they were talking about. And then the other thing is as well, like um, um, one sad thing I find when I speak to adults about science is that, you know, I say oh, I'm a physicist, and then they're like, oh, I was rubbish at physics in school. And somehow they've left school thinking that, you know, they didn't get a good grade and so now they're bad at science. I think that's really sad as well because the thing is as you grow up your brain develops, you obviously learn more stuff and so it's so sad that adults put themselves in that category of never you know, being engaged with science anymore. So I'm hoping as well like the parents who are reading their kids this book might also be like, oh right, that, wow, that's, I didn't realise that. And maybe they can kind of get some of that as well. So um, yeah, so yeah, that's I my. Uh, it, getting, getting to the school thing, and I don't know if this is unique to me, but I don't think it is. Very few people I've ever met have been inspired by a textbook, <laughs> right? They're inspired by the popular science article they read in National Geographic, or I was talking to Jennifer earlier, and it was uh, uh, The Elegant Universe. I'm a member of the Planetary Society, right? So. Uh, anybody else a planetary society person? Yeah. So Bill, <laughs> Bill Nye the science guy is now Bill Nye the planetary guy and he talks about the passion, beauty and joy of exploration and science and very rarely do you get passion, beauty or joy. It's like none of the above in your typical textbook. But in the stories you're, you're allowed and in fact you're expected to project those things uh, and get people excited. The, the textbooks are there waiting if you want to start to learn the math, mm -hmm. and if you want to start to practice and be a practicing scientist, having these books being a jumping on point for science is, I guess, one of my goals and one of the things that I think uh, you can do with this sort of thing.